Stephen, are you aware that you've voluntarily embarked upon a PhD in physics? If you've been involved at all in the world of science, you've probably heard the name Stephen Hawking. I wonder what would happen if you applied Penrose's theory about black holes to the entire universe. Today at Fluent U, we will be breaking down the trailer for The Theory of Everything, which briefly tells Dr. Hawking's story. The trailer will help us learn some words about science, education, and disease. A really interesting and unique mix for English learners. What if I reverse the process all the way back to see what happened at the beginning of time itself? Remember, if you like this video and want to see more videos from Fluent U, click subscribe and hit the notification button so you don't miss any more great Fluent U videos. Ready? Let's get started. Come on, get up. Morning, Brian. Stephen, are you aware that you've voluntarily embarked upon a PhD in physics? Hello. Hello. Science. Arts. I'm a cosmologist. What's that? I study the marriage of space and time. The perfect couple. One never knows from where the next great leap forward is going to come, or from whom. What if I reverse time to see what happened at the beginning of time itself? Wind back the clock. Wind back the clock. Keep going. I don't know how. Yet. Keep winding. Where to? It's called motor neuron disease. Life expectancy is two years. I want us to be together for as long as we've got. It'll affect everything. You don't realize what lies ahead. This is going to be a very heavy defeat. But I love him. And he loves me. We're going to fight this illness together. Good luck. Hi. I'm OK. So, this black hole at the beginning of time. Brilliant. Brilliant, Stephen. Well done, Doctor. He has pneumonia. The only way he will survive would be to give him a tracheotomy. He will never speak again. Yes, he will. My name is Stephen Hawking. It's American. Is that a problem? It has been a great joy to watch this man defy every expectation, both scientific and personal. There should be no boundaries to human endeavor. However bad life may seem, while there is life, there is hope. Thank you. Sorry, did you say something? I said thank you. This trailer is so artistic, and I loved the way the characters spoke. How much of the vocabulary did you understand? Let's take a closer look at some of these interesting words and phrases. The first word we will learn is embark. In the case of the video, Stephen's friend Brian uses the word in the past tense, embarked. Fluent U tells us that embark means to start or begin. However, let's take a look at the example sentences. Embarked. He embarked on a fantastic adventure. Mom embarked on her quest. We can see from these examples that when we use embark, it's typically to describe the beginning of something special, like an adventure, a quest, or a journey. So what does that tell us about Stephen's PhD? That's right, that his degree is a wonderful adventure, although doing a PhD in physics may not seem like a fun adventure to some people. Speaking of a PhD, let's take a look at exactly what that means. PhD is a short form for Doctor of Philosophy. However, we know from what Stephen's friend said that he is studying physics. Fluent U describes PhD as the highest academic degree one can achieve from a university. In this case, philosophy doesn't mean the study of philosophy as in the study of thought and reason. 
Rather, it means the study of the philosophy or the advanced theories of physics. Because of that, we know that Stephen Hawking is studying theories of physics at a very high level. By the way, if you like learning English with movies, you'll love Fluent U. Fluent U takes authentic English videos like commercials, music videos, and inspiring talks and turns them into learning experiences. With Fluent U, you'll have access to endless videos and audio with interactive subtitles, plus great educational features like flashcards, a built in video dictionary, and quizzes. Fluent U will help you have more fun and learn faster. You can listen to native speakers pronounce words, phrases, and sentences and practice repeating them out loud. You won't have to wonder about how a word is used because you can tap on any word to look it up and see examples from other videos. In fact, with its video dictionary, you can look up almost any word you want to know more about. You can even listen to audio clips of example sentences. Sounds awesome, right? Give Fluent U a try on desktop or with Fluent U's app for your iOS or Android device. Click on the link in the description for a free trial of Fluent U. Now, let's leap back into the video. As you may have guessed, the next word we will learn is leap. Fluent U tells us that this word means jump or hop. Leap. But when we click on the word to understand it further, we can see that it seems to have a more adventurous meaning. Take the leap. A leap is dangerous if you don't look down. Even the photo that's associated with the word shows us that when you leap, there's an element of adventure in it. So what does the professor in the movie trailer mean when he says, One never knows from where the next great leap forward is going to come. We can see that as the professor is saying this phrase, the camera focuses on Stephen Hawking in front of a blackboard. So we can guess that the professor is not talking about a physical leap, but rather a scientific leap. That is, the professor is guessing that Stephen Hawking will be responsible for a big advancement in science. Let's take a look at Fluent U's video dictionary to more fully understand this word. Leap. Stay steady on your feet. Try a bigger leap. Specialist, this is a huge leap. We can see from these clips that leap can mean both a physical jump, but also an advancement that isn't physical, such as in the video about a promotion at work. It's a leap to be promoted to a new job. Next, let's learn about the word expectancy. Fluent U defines expectancy as an expected amount based on scientific data. Okay, that's pretty easy to understand. Expected, expectancy, the expected amount of something, usually time. However, when we put life in front of expectancy, it becomes a common phrase, which means the expected amount of time a person has to live. In the case of Stephen Hawking, because of his disease, his life expectancy was only two years. If you're finding it difficult to remember these words, click on the link in the description to get a free PDF of the words in this video. It even includes some vocabulary that I don't teach in this video. Now, chances are you may have heard this word before, but the tricky part is this word has more than one meaning. Let's take a quick look at Fluent U's video dictionary. Lies. You don't realize what lies ahead. Long ago, my father told me of a land that lies to the north among the glaciers, rich in game. Perhaps the answer lies in his past. Okay. From these examples, we can see that to lie can mean to be in a physical location or in a metaphorical location, like in someone's past. This makes more sense in the context of our video. You don't realize what lies ahead. Since this word is a little bit tricky, we can put it on a flashcard to review again later. We can click on the word and click add to. Let's create a new flashcard set. We can call it the theory of everything. Then we can go back and review it later. I hope you weren't defeated by that word. 
I think this one will be a bit easier for you. The word defeat can be a verb or a noun. And in the case of this trailer, it's used as a noun. A good indicator that it's a noun is the fact that there's an adjective right in front of it. And fluent you tells us that it means destruction. In the case of this scene, the speaker says heavy as the adjective. But clearly, a destruction cannot be physically heavy. Rather, heavy in this context means intense as in the destruction of Stephen Hawking's normal life will be difficult to manage. Let's take a look at another word in the trailer. Black holes are an object in space resulting from the collapse of a star which has a really high gravitational pull. Picture a giant invisible vacuum cleaner in space that is so powerful that it sucks in everything around it. That is what Stephen Hawking studied. Now, the last phrase we will learn in this video is a very famous quote from Stephen Hawking. There should be no boundaries to human endeavor. Isn't that beautiful? One of the greatest joys of learning a new language is learning quotes or poetry, because when you translate the phrases to your native language, they lose some of the essence of the phrase. Let's break this down. Boundaries can mean, depending on the context, edge, border, or limit. And endeavor means an activity with a purpose. In other words, Stephen Hawking is saying there should be no limits to human purpose and activity. Pretty inspiring, isn't it? Wow, that was a lot of interesting words. Let's watch the trailer one more time to review our new knowledge. Come on, get up. Morning, Brian. Stephen, are you aware that you voluntarily embarked upon a PhD in physics? Hello. Hello. Science. Arts. I'm a cosmologist. What's that? I study the marriage of space and time. The perfect couple. One never knows from where the next great leap forward is going to come, or from whom. What if I reverse time to see what happened at the beginning of time itself? Wind back the clock. Wind back the clock. Keep going. I don't know how. Yet. Keep winding. Where's you? It's called motor neuron disease. Life expectancy is two years. I want us to be together for as long as we've got. It'll affect everything. You don't realize what lies ahead. This is going to be a very heavy defeat. But I love him, and he loves me. We're going to fight this illness together. Good luck. Why? I'm OK. So, this black hole at the beginning of time. Brilliant. Brilliant, Stephen. Well done, Doctor. He has pneumonia. The only way he will survive would be to give him a tracheotomy. He will never speak again. Yes, he will. My name is Stephen Hawking. It's American. Is that a problem? It has been a great joy to watch this man defy every expectation, both scientific and personal. There should be no boundary to human endeavor. However bad life may seem, while there is life, there is hope. Thank you. Sorry, did you say something? I said thank you. How did that go? I hope you learned something new. What other types of English learning videos would you like to see? Let us know in the comments below. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe to Fluent U and hit the notification button so you never miss more great English videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Now you are recognized everywhere. How do you deal with all the attention? I was stopped recently by a tourist in Cambridge who asked if I was a real Stephen Hawking. <laughs> I replied I was not and said a real one was much better looking. <laughs>